This is the most urgent of times and the most urgent of messages. It's not just that we can't afford to go backward, we can't afford to stay where we are. The world has to step up, and it has to step up now. This is now about our industries and our governments around the world taking decisive, large-scale action. From 2030, the sale of new diesel-only and petrol-only cars will be banned. That's a decade earlier than originally planned. There's two billion vehicles on this planet. We cannot expect to just scrap these vehicles that already exist. This is about building a 10, 15, 20 year generational legacy where we're stopping this hopeless cycle, this catastrophic cycle of throwing perfectly good materials away. The best way to describe a circular economy is to look at today's economy, which is linear. So we take a material out of the ground, make something out of it, and then the products get thrown away. Within a circular economy, you take a material out of the ground, you make sure that product stays within the economy for as long as possible. So it's all about eliminating waste and pollution to keep that value in the system. So after talking with fleet managers, city councils, you guys already have fleets of beautiful trucks that are only a few years old that are running perfectly. And the benefit that you get remanufactured is knowing that you're not throwing perfectly good trucks to waste. Tonight, the rise of the green vehicle. The company already restores Rolls Royce Phantoms, Jaguars, and Bentley Continentals. One company in Silverstone is trying to make it a little easier for us to turn any fuel guzzler into a green machine. Now, do you want to go electric with all the transport, whether it's your personal or perhaps you run a business which uses a load of diesel trucks? How are you going to do that? Don't dump the diesel trucks, try to convert them. David Beckham has taken a 10% stake in a company that's converting classic cars into electric vehicles. Lunas, based at Silverstone, are now expanding to do the same with rubbish trucks and other lorries. The company currently employs 60. Reuse what you have, electrify it, and then at the end of the lifetime, bring it back up to life, keep it on the road, and keep the landfills as empty as possible. Lunas is making the world's first electric Rolls Royces and Bentleys. The women and men of tomorrow is what you should be driving. This car's in a different loop. And it's not just the classic cars that are getting a new lease on life here. What we want to do today, work together to actually electrify our fleet. You know, we are genuinely managing to carry over more than 75% of these vehicles that all the regular car manufacturers just can't do anything about. It starts at Silverstone, then it goes to America. We're going to keep on going until we can see the impact that we're making on a global scale.